Now looking at y equals sine of x from x equals negative pi to x equals pi. So let's draw that. Well, first of all, we're using four trapezoids. So let's draw this and label in our four trapezoids. Here's our y, here's our x. So then sine looks like this. And here is our negative pi, our pi. So using four, four trapezoids, we'll have these four, two, three, four. So now they all look like triangles which is perfectly fine. And also by just looking at this graph, we can tell that the area is going to equal zero because here's our positive A, here's our negative A. When we add them together, we get zero. But let's go ahead and carry out the trapezoid rule uh, to see what happens. So B minus A over N equals pi minus negative pi over four, which is pi over two. So then our area will equal 1 half pi over 2, which you got from here, times 0 plus 2 times negative 1 plus 2 times 0 plus 2 times 1 plus 0. And what we did here was just simply plug these terms Uh, into the original equation with our corresponding uh, x values. So here we have negative pi over 2, pi over 2. And simplifying this, we get 1 half pi over 2. Negative 2 plus 2, which is 0. So 0 multiply anything is 0. So we were right by just looking at it graphically. Um, but the trapezoid rule still works. And it doesn't matter if they look like a triangle. Um, as long as we follow this formula, uh, nothing should be of a surprise. So thanks for watching educator.com, the trapezoid rule section. We will see you next time.